In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create an input text in HTML and connect it with JavaScript. So what we're going to do here is very basic. You can see here we have a basic HTML file and we're going to work with the input type text. So this is the file here, it's all blank. So let's start to work with it. So the first thing what I want to do is of course to say here input and I'm going to say here type and then specify this with text. The moment we do this, if we save this and refresh, you can see it works. It recognizes that we have now something. And we can type any text in here. However, it doesn't connect yet with JavaScript. So what I want to do now is how do we extract, for example, that specific value that we have here? Well, what we can do is, first of all, we need to specify this. We can say here a name. And then we could say here maybe uh, this will be first name, although this doesn't matter so much because what I really want to do here is to give it a specific ID. And this ID could be the first name as well. And we can do it like that. So with the ID, I can nicely pinpoint now the specific input element. So what we're going to do here is just very simple. We're going to say here document dot get element by ID then here we have this make sure you pay attention on all these capitalized letters and then we're going to grab here the ID name so what is the ID name well basically this is the ID name here we can copy it and put it in here and if you're wondering what is a document and what does this all mean well basically this is the document which is the entire HTML document here doc type basically so it grabs everything within here and then it says you get the element so in JavaScript, where we have the term element is related to the syntaxes here, or specifically this here, this tag here. So we say, go and get the element, and then search the element of, with the ID name of first name that we specified here. Once we did that, now we can grab this. But if I do this, and I do now a console log, just to show what we get, we can say here maybe, we can just copy this, and later on I'll just give it a constant. If I save this now and I refresh, you can see what is happening here. We grab it, but we grab here now everything, and maybe we don't want everything. For example, we want only a specific value. So what we can do here is the following. To specify, instead of the entire element tag, we can say here the item we want. Well, in this case, we can just say here, if it would be a value here, let's give it a value attribute, and specify something here. Let's say default. Or John. So I save this now, refresh. You can see this is being recognized as John, and John is as default, it's being in here as well. This is not really a default value, but this is the initial value that's being on load. So it's a slightly difference within that, but that's later on. So what is very important here is if I want to pinpoint this specific name, I want to grab that value, I need to pinpoint it here as well. So here we get the entire element. Now I want to say, hold on, I don't want the entire element. I want a specific item in the in the element, in this case, value. So we can say here, is the value. If I save this now, refresh, now we only get John. So what we could do as well is, for example, we can say get dot type. In that case, we will now extract the type of the input. And of course, the same would be here with name. We get here the first name, which is correct because we have assign his first name and if you want the ID we could even do it like that but of course here this that's correct but of course it would not make any sense because we're searching already within the same ID name but this is the way how you can play around with this and use all of these items together so next video we're going to focus on how we can connect them and do some more interactive level with the input